Well, uh, I thought I would do a video. Uh, it's not really a review as much as what it is kind of a uh, a cool history lesson, I guess. Um, so, my two grandpas um, were both really influential men in my life. Um, my mom's dad, uh, whose name is uh, F.M. Butler. Um, he's not with me any longer. Um, but uh, he was uh, he was probably the most influential. And the reason is uh, he's the one that taught me to fish, uh, how to use a pocket knife, all the things that, uh, that I love and truly, uh, you know, cherish now. And uh, so when he passed away, um, my mom let me know that uh, he requested that I go through the house uh, with her and anything that I wanted uh, I, I could have it was mine um, so I found a bunch of uh, a bunch of awesome things uh, that I hope to kind of do a little series on but the one that I wanted to do first um, that was the most intriguing to me was this knife that I found um, so I'll see if I can get a good close-up of it um, but this is it here this marking here I'm assuming he did because what I've seen uh, from you know other pictures and other people that wasn't on there but uh, it's a folding knife and what's really cool about it is it opens up with this button right here so you push this button down and the knife comes out and locks. Now as you can see it's a crazy looking knife right? This is the cutting edge here and this is a fork. Now some really cool history about this that I found. Um, so this is referred, referred to as the Civil War veterans knife uh, or, or the veterans knife and hopefully you can see this right here Let's see if you can focus uh, it's not gonna focus but that writing that's engraved right there says uh, press button knife company Walden New York um, and what I've learned about this is in uh, 1894 George Schrade of Schrade Knives uh, and his patent prototype business in New York City uh, he decided to leave and go to Walden New York to manage uh, a subsidiary uh, company of the Walden Knife Company um, and it was to be named uh, the Press Button Knife Company uh, they have other knives that they made but this one uh, particular is really cool because one it came from my grandpa's collection and two uh, it was actually produced uh, roughly 30 years after the Civil War and it's kind of ironic that it was named the uh, the Civil War veterans knife uh, even though it was produced 30 years afterwards um, the reasoning that it was called the Civil War veterans knife is because it was particularly fond of war veterans that had lost limbs so this was a utensil that was made for them that they could push open with one hand and they could cut cut their food and then use the fork to eat if they if they were missing an arm um so that was really cool to me uh the press button company went on uh to make uh knives in their production line until about 1924 um and yeah this was just something i really wanted to share i've been meaning to do it for a long time now uh, and just haven't gotten around to it and uh remembered it um this is aluminum these are aluminum handles uh which was top of the line back then and uh yeah i just wanted to share this uh, i can show it to you one more time so you can push it open and it locks and then you have a nice handle back here. You can cut your food 
here and then uh, and then eat it just like that and it's just a, a push button and I'll try to see if it'll focus in on this now I think it's going to but anyways uh, yeah just thought I would share that with you it's pretty cool uh, if anyone has any uh, other information on it that they want to share or uh, if anything that I said was incorrect uh, you know and not true please please call me out um, I don't want to spread false information but uh, that's what I found so far on it so uh, yeah thanks for watching and have a good one